Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. Yesterday we had another punt at trying to break the game, and today we're going to take some of the advice I received from you guys and try it again. So, J Quincy1717, why not put three times re-rollers on the die breeders that I buy and spawn? That's a totally fair point. I got so tunnel visioned with doing the keys and lock stuff, I was kind of neglecting everything else that existed. Uh, Vincent's Rock Garage. Those adjacency re-rollers will be my lock key saviors. Mix those in to get my locks and keys rolling multiple times. Uh, should have keys with glue on them. This is Vic Verku. Should have keys with glue on them. On the re-roll neighboring dice. Dice have them re-rolling three times. Move them to spots between the locked dice. So, we will get the early game out of the way, get some good scoring stuff created, and then move on from there. So I'll be right back. All right. Uh, I realize I had only the comments I had not responded to. So Ixnay and Hedda and Mike, all those extra people providing excellent advice. I appreciate it greatly. So I've taken a 97 and a 38 because I would rather get to upgrading sooner because the extra 97 is not as valuable when we're not really concerning ourselves with score as much. So I could take the die adder now, but I'm just going to breeze straight on through to the next tier of shop because the goal will be to set all of that die face to 97s eventually. So having it be what it is right now isn't as important to get it to 297s immediately. The reroller faces we're going to want, but I'm more interested in buying reroller dice, I think, rather than just individual faces. Now, I think on this shop we do want to try and find a good multiplier. We'll take a six times double reroll for the 97s scoring face. I feel like that took far longer than it should have. In any case, then we'll look for a multiplier for that. Preferably something bigger than times two. There's times four. So that's going to go on the 97 itself. Then I think we can pretty much go to our next tier of shop. Then from there, we can start looking out for the reroll faces that we want, for shop refresh adders, all of that kind of stuff, as well as the passives, because we are going to want to, of course, find Big Spender. I don't know how much time we should spend shopping for other stuff now, rather than just re-rolling for Big Spender. But at the same time, None of this stuff is stuff that I want to buy immediately, so we will just roll through. Die booster adders are not the primary adders I want to shop for. Double face multipliers are not what we need either. Must of course remember to look for set all die faces. There's a big spender, so we can get that going very early, which is excellent. None of this other stuff is stuff that we need to buy immediately. And then as soon as we refresh, everything will get an 80% discount, which is wonderful. So with that done, we can now start to just buy basically everything at our leisure. So I'm going to start putting times fives and stuff on our main score generating die and get it re-rolling in triplicate now. Then we can start moving stuff off of that later. Also going to buy various basic die. And now that we never have to worry about 99s or passives related to 99s, we can buy incrementers without concern. And eventually we want to set that die face to be all the same.
and we'll even just lock anything that we fancy because that's going to be one more dice for us down the line. Right, there's a die breeder adder. That's the central cloning mechanism I was hoping to find. So we'll pick that up and put that on just a standard face of a standard die. We'll also pick up the regular die adder. I'll take a 10x for that central scoring die. Then the question is, is it too soon to lock this one that we've now got those two faces on? can add rerolls to adjacencies next to it but I think I'm going to hold on hold off on this for just a minute because what I'd like to do is get some more dice and then move that 99 scoring dice out of the exact center so that we can then use the geometry in the exact center for our die building shenanigans Uh, we also want to make sure that die has re-rolling and triplicate on it before we clone it. So for that we're of course going to need to find re-roll and triplicate. But the rest of the very cheap dice we can keep adding. We're never going to get passives that relate to not using weights. So we might as well use weights liberally. And as such, I'm going to put a weight on the die adder adder, die breeder adder, because I want that to be making as many for us as possible. I do want shop refresh adders. So we'll stick that on here to be cloned. I'll take another 10x for this guy. Still waiting to set all die faces on that one somehow. I guess now that we have the other passive, or the single passive rather, that we were looking for, there's no harm in upgrading our shop again to that final tier of shop. That's going to be important later. We'll move that into part of this central grid for cloning later or not for cloning but for driving our cloning engine in fact let's make let's buy another one of those then we can move one of them to here that moves our 97 out of the center I'll pick up a void die as well. Considerably more expensive, but we can put a big number on that. What number did it come with? Three. Let's find a number bigger than three to go on there. I guess right now we're just going to steal one of these 77s. Still looking for rerolls in triplicate. There's rerolls in doubles. But I really want to get rerolls in triplicate on this before I start cloning it because then I don't have to try and buy rerolls in triplicate for every subsequent one we purchase. So if you are going to make these reroll. I want these to be the keys and these to be the locks, I think. So let's put that there. We'll 
take another 10x. I'm amazed we haven't seen. A set all faces yet. I think I'm just going to upgrade the shop if we're not going to see a set all faces. As if it knew it was being threatened. They all get set to 97. Right, then we still want rerolls in triplicate. Again, it knew. Those rerolls in triplicate are going on here. Now I think we can start looking at upgrading the shop and then looking for keys and other things we want to clone. I mean, a Dilotto adder is still an adder. We've got so much cash at this relatively early stage there's another re-roller we'll move that into place when we need to or we can move it right now so you're forcing stuff to re-roll we want the keys to re-roll on these so I'm actually going to move this to here another shop adder. Right. Let's lock something arbitrary. Then go upgrade the store so that we can find a key. Could can you can you believe it? I'm not sure I can. Right, this key is going on here first. Then we're going to lock that guy. That's then going to make us a second key. Of course, if we can find a key in the meantime, we will take it. Is there something else we want to move? The re-roller. So your re-roller, we intend for those to be locked and these to be keys, so we'll put that there. Settle die faces, is there something big we could settle die faces to? Not terribly, but you might as well all be 59s. Keep buying more dice because we can. I think this has very big potential for breaking. Right, I'm not going to mess around with lottery stuff. Take another 10x over there. I should put a 10x on the 77 on the void die as well. I should do that. Is there something else I want re-rolling in triplicate? Probably this guy re-rolling in triplicate to force the other ones to re-roll more if they don't get triple on the first go. And we'll keep buying whatever we're presented here. A hundred times the number of dice. I guess we can invest in that on the fringes. So now what I really want is a second key more than anything else right now, I think. I'll put a 5x on that guy. 
I don't think there's an individual face I really care to move that much because we haven't made an extra key yet. But we can add a copy of an existing dice. Can we do that with the locked one that has a key on it? Which is this one. I cannot make a copy of that. How many rolls does that one have left on it? 291 more. Okay, we're not doing that right now. But we've got the money for it, so we should copy something. I don't see why right now we don't copy this. Double R, effective scoring. Die booster comes with a die add a face on it. don't have any big picture faces to add to the reroll matrix. I will upgrade that from a 5x to a 10x though. Of course we can never get it to 99x because you need a passive to do that and we have locked ourselves out from ever obtaining passives. There's going to be some interesting things to do with glue later, but now's not the time. There's another reroll face. And we can move that reroll face wherever we've just purchased it. So. You're the center. Going to put keys on those. Lock those. So that's going to make it, so we want it here to make this reroll more frequently, I think. Dilotto adder is a face that will add stuff. We'll put that on the outside edge of the reroller and we'll put a heavy weight on it. There's a die adder breeder, which is excellent. Right, I think I'm just going to lock that straight away. We can move it later. There's reroll in triplicates. We want that on something, I'm sure. You have it already, so we'll put it over there. I could buy wild faces and things, but our scoring right now is absolutely adequate. So still really just looking for a second key right now. It's like it knew. It is like it knew. So that key wants to go here. Then we want to glue that key down. But while we're at it, we don't have any glue. What we can do is add some times fives to these 59s. Just to give us what extra scoring we can. Then we can add a copy of a die. And we can pick that one with the key. Then in a minute we can move that. Add another die breeder. It's excellent. Right, so now I want to be able to move some stuff. There's another die breeder. Also a lock. Sh 
Short of anything better and more specific to lock right now, I will just lock another one of the die breeders we made. We could lock the key and then try and put that next to a key and then make an extra extra key. That's the other option. But once this is cloned, it's going to have a key on it and then we can just pull the key off of it to one of the odd spaces. Still got 1,600 rolls left. This could be the one where we break it. There's another add a copy of a die. How's this guy doing? 198 more rolls. Alright, well we're going to add a copy. Do we have a weight or a glue we can put on this before we copy it? We don't. So we're copying this. And then again, hoping to pull those keys off. There's six times re-rollers. This key is already breaking down that lock, which is nice. There goes the friendly neighborhood siren. So we want to have something that we're going to be cloning, re-rolling in triplicate, I think. Then we can lock another thing, and we can make another copy of a lock with a key, a dice with a key. But there's our really good one. We might as well make a copy of this over anything else. Now I really just want to start moving stuff to build up this big grid in the center of things with keys, things that want to be cloned, etc. There's another die breeder. Things are getting considerably more expensive in relation to the number of rolls to get something now. But once we can do some movement on stuff, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. So we probably want to copy this guy that has loads of good stuff to be cloned and a key on it. You want to re-roll keys. So we want to put this here and then pull the key off of it into the center. The rest of stuff, I'm just going to... Oh, we want glue on the keys as well. Uh, I'm going to start with glue on this key. And I'm not sure I want to glue this face because... I want to move this key off and it will move the face but not the glue. So I think I'm actually going to glue this die here and then move that key onto that glued face once we have an ability to move something. All the while trying to look out for reroll dice. All right, so we can move this key to this face then unless there's a face we want to add specifically there is not we can lock this good dice next to these two keys
Do we want to pay seven and a half million to make a copy of something? Probably. Right, what are we copying though? Probably this guy again. Because it's got everything on it plus a key. Right, now, more than anything, I just need stuff to facilitate moving things. And locks. There's a die reroll adder. We want that. one to move an individual face so we want to move this key onto this face Now I'm starting to wonder if I should try and generally add some more stuff that's going to improve our scoring. There's another die breeder though. I'll pick that up pretty swiftly, although swapping positions of something for now. Particularly, probably, so we've got this guy is rotating those keys onto these four. So we want this to be something that is going to be locked. So this whole die can come to here. Then we want a key in the gap in between them. Let's start buying some die multiplier faces because they're going to be worth a pretty penny after we start making thousands of dice, hopefully. And we can put weights on those because we don't care about using weights on this particular game. And we want a die breeder, 2.8 million. There's another copy. There's stuff re-rolling in triplicates. Let's get this guy re-rolling in triplicate to make the other stuff around it re-roll more often. 16 mil for a copy of something seems very expensive at this stage. can move a key from this guy here onto this position here. We want to make sure we lock something as fast as possible. So this corner, this corner, this corner and this corner. These are all touching two keys now. So we will clone the one that has an extra key on it and then we can start spreading out the keys even further. I will take another die adder face because we have some of our dice here that we've taken the keys off of. We can improve the empty gaps in the empty spaces with die adders and shop adders and the like. There's another one of those. Right, how much stuff do we buy to try and increase scoring versus how much stuff do we buy 
just to try and facilitate more dice. I think I can swap this 77 for a wild. And when that picks up, that will play the largest number it finds. Then we can move a whole dice. So. Do we have one with a key that has been cloned on it? No, but this guy has a key on it that needs moving. So we can move this whole dice with a key. Onto this spot here. That's going to have three keys around that lock now. Ten times previous roll multiplier is probably worth putting on some things. Perhaps shunting off one of these voids. There's another move a whole dice. Still not halfway through our rolls yet. Half hour into this endeavour. So we don't have any cloned keys to worry about. Oh, there's this guy here. You have a key on you. And we now have a key here and a key here. So we actually want an improved face potential for locking on this guy. Because that gets touched by two keys. Then if we clone that one between two keys, we create more keys, which we can make a wider net of keys and rerolls. Right, moving a whole dice in somewhere. This guy has an extra copy of a key on it. So you're touching three. And swap that out to here. Then we have this one touching three as well. Then we need more locks. Are there any glue candidates? You are an excellent glue candidate. You are an excellent glue candidate. The rest of the stuff less pivotal. Although die breeder is something we want. Right, more locks please. I don't think we need the extra key. I think the extra key now is excessive. But none of this stuff is locked right now. We need more locks. I think it's actually worth just re-rolling through to either find stuff to move or stuff to lock. Move a die face from somewhere. We must have made a die face with locks in clones very recently now. Because you would have been cloned. So where is your copy? Maybe I already pillaged its key. Right, in that case, I don't think moving an individual face is so valuable. I do need locks. 
Moving a whole die is probably worthwhile. Perhaps we must have bought something that adds rerolls. Uh, yeah, not adders, but just full reroll sets. I can't see any, so I guess we haven't bought any extra ones. So let's grab a copy of something we've cloned, like this guy, and put it somewhere we're more likely to lock it. So keys, things that get locked, keys. And that barely felt productive at all. But we need more locks. Like, I can only state this so many times. Without any locks in play, we're not getting any benefit from all of the stuff that we have going on in the center. Thank you. So we're locking our prime candidate, which I think is this guy surrounded by three keys with one key on it. And rather than buying seven million for one die breeder, I'm actually gonna look for locks to make more die breeders. lock this guy I think we can skip the key fairly safely at this point just locks locks is all I want after they unlock and we've got some keys I'll worry about some more movement stuff Right now, just the locks. I'll get something re-rolling in triplicate on the outside edges. Like this guy. It's going to produce three times as many dice for us now. Four times. Thank you, locks. That is another die. Oh, that's a die booster adder. That's not the one I want. So, you're against those three, you're against those three. You are against these two right now, I guess. Is there anything to add to that bottom gap before we do it? Sure, a die boost rider face is just as good as anything for filling that gap. Right, so that was this one. So is there anything we'd actively like to lock now? That's the question. Because if there's nothing we really specifically want to actively lock, we want to concern ourselves more with preparing for our next set of locking. I think this guy is next to a key, and then we want to put a key here. I think we're going to be alright for refreshes. A couple of extra die breeders won't hurt. And of course, as we're rolling this stuff, that guy has now unlocked, which is great. So I'm actually just going to look for a lock ahead of anything else. It's 
probably could have moved the key off on that previous reroll, but these things happen. Something else to reroll in triplicate. Another die breeder. So we've got our four main contenders locked. Roll for die breeders. Then we've unlocked that one in the bottom right. So we want to lock that and we want to move the keys that we've generated from those clones. Right, so we can move a key. I think we should have a spare key somewhere now. There it is. So we'll take this key. And then that's going to go on here, I think. Then we will glue that down. Anything we want to move from the fringes closer in now. Probably this guy with a key on it can join the party here. We've moved our 99 all over the place now. I'll take a hundred times die quantity multiplier as well. That's going to do us some decent scoring. See if we can lock that or get that re-rolling or something. Heavyweight, that'll do. Right, we want more locks again. Did I just glue the key we purchased? You've got glue, you've got glue, you've got glue. You've got glue. I'll glue you down. Add a re-roller die. Move that in when we have an opportunity to do so. Uh, I will not shop for die breeders whilst we're looking for locks. get a re-roller. Copies, I can skip. There's a lock. Right, so if this is our center, this is our prime lock candidate. And then I think we had other lock targets. We certainly do. We have everything awaiting locks. So we'll keep buying those as quickly as we can find them. And I think we can steal a key from the outside edge again. And where are we going to put it? This one, I suppose. My grid's gotten a bit squiffy, I think. Right, we're looking for glue or re-rollers. Uh, 
And what I really want now, also, is to move some of these re-roller dice into the center that we've purchased. Just looking for keys on the outside edges, if there's ones that we've cloned. Can't see any right now. There's another lock. So we come to our prime locking candidate, which is. Oh god, I'm getting so disoriented. Our prime candidate is locked. You're locked. You can get locked. You need an extra face. Not buying these keys. You're next to two keys. You're next to two keys and have more faces. have an extra face to buy down there. Why not an adjacency triple re-roller face on this guy? Then we'll lock that one up. Down to 900 rolls now. wonder how many dice we have. Right, let's try and move in a die re-roller. I know we bought some, we just have to find them. They'll be on the outside edges. There's one. So we're going to put that... Where are we going to put that? There. I'm sure I'm not doing this in a perfectly ideal fashion, but it's close enough for my excitement and amusement. Right, something else to be locked. This is all a bit skew if. I guess we'll lock you. Need to get more keys out there. Do we have a key to move? It's very blurry when it drags, doesn't it? Hard trying to track so many objects. Right, no spare keys at the moment. There's another one of those on the bottom left. We should remember that. There's another lock. Well, we've got most of our stuff actually locked at the moment. So, I will lock this guy. It's going to remove some of their efficiency, but this guy's going to unlock that one sooner. And then if we can't find a really good candidate, we'll just do something in the periphery that's going to unlock eventually anyway. Shakers. There's another re-roller. Right, 
There's a couple of move hold ice. So now we want to find some of those breeders that we put the triple rerolls on. Like that guy. We can put that over here next to this key, say. Then we can lock that given the opportunity. And there's another one down there with a triple reroll on it. That guy. We can put there with a chance to lock that as well. So now we need the locks. Our prime candidate has unlocked, which means somewhere around here there's an extra one with a key on it. So I think there should be. It's not on that bottom row. It's not on the left side. It's not on the right. Oh, there he is in the corner. We'll take that whole thing, move it away from the score so we can click it. And where are we going to put that whole thing? Let's put it here. It's not a perfect arrangement anymore, but if I tried to do everything perfectly at this stage, we'd be here literally forever. But now we do want more locks. Let's see this guy with the re-rollers can come up. Why not to now I got really disoriented on this whole plan, haven't I? I think it's tricky in a grid a square grid trying to navigate keys, things to lock, and things to re-roll. Those three different types of dice don't tessellate very well into the grid in my head. But we're looking for locks. Yes, please, and thank you. So that's going to be you there. Then, best next candidate. I mean, you're next to keys and re-rollers. Let's save up for a die breeder while we unlock some of these guys. There's two of them unlocked. How far away are we from this? 14 million, that's fine. Purchase that. Then go back looking for more locks for the prime area. Hello, locks. Locks. Hello. Buy something, generate some more shop refreshes, hopefully. Stick triple rerolls on. Do you have them already? You do. You there. Man, where are all the locks? Thank you. There we go, finally coming along when we need them. Where did the last... I said it was like a half hour, like... 
it feels like five minutes ago, but it was 25 minutes ago. Right, my brain and my attention span are getting completely cross-eyed. Another lock. Somewhere else to lock something. You there. Right, we're going to roll, which is going to make us more dice, which we can then spend on re-roller dice, and then as we roll, we can unlock stuff, and as we unlock stuff, we can have fresh candidates to lock with by finding those locks on the refreshes that we've gained by re-rolling. Next chance we get, I want to see how many dice we've accumulated. So let's buy this 100 times up. Put that somewhere we can definitely see it. the lock we don't need the rest oh so many locks all right we'll come back to hunting our score result in a second there we go so we have numeric one times five big spender oh no there you go 496 dice 469 dice. So we're not popping off into the thousands yet. I think it's because we haven't been making too many copies of this guy that makes the dice that makes more dice. Perhaps my original construct wasn't as efficient as it could have been. Generating good score. And of course, we can't get the dice, dice, dice passive since we have big spender. All right, we need more locks. Thank you. probably have also missed a few of them which we could have added along the way that is something that my brain just had completely not considered up to this point which is a shame because obviously if we could have made dice with six faces that all add dice that add more dice that's a recipe for success but that was not the part of my brain I've been engaging there always seems to be some component I forget about in these things But there's the, uh, the zoom out to see the shop. We've reached that stage of things. Something to re-roll in triplicate. You there. Something else to re-roll in triplicate. Should probably also, while I'm at it, go up to these top corners, steal this key. There's probably a bunch of these now and bring that back down here to be somewhere more productive. Like here. Then we want to make that guy in between the two of them something we actually want to lock. So now we want a full dice move. And we 
got lots of stuff that's not currently locked. But that's fine, we'll just buy more locks, obviously. We were looking for a move whole dice. There's one. So let me find one of our better cloned things in the periphery. Like this guy. We pull that. And there was a spot that had two keys near a top left corner. There it is. So there's a key here and a key there, so we can put this here and then lock that. So key here, key here, lock that. We've caught up with our 97s again. Right, I'm looking for stuff to move. Somewhere out on this edge, there's going to be, there's, there's one. You can see the key just there. Very, very tiny. Going to pull that guy up to, say, here. That key can help unlock the other stuff whilst also breeding more stuff. As ever, we would expect our dice growth to kind of be exponential because we're making dice that make more dice and those dice will make more dice, etc, etc, etc. So as we near the last few hundred rolls, we do expect this to pop off. There's a die breeder add a face. I want that. It's gonna take us a sweet while to get there apparently. I probably could have just stolen some from other dice that we had made. But we want that on some of our prime candidates in here. So this guy, rather than making one dice every 50 rolls, will make a dice that makes a dice every 200 rolls. Then we can move something. There's probably a copy of one of those out in the periphery we can drag over to the center. There's one with a key. So we've got so many keys now, we can kind of just start making a grid of these guys that have keys on them. And we're actually growing out into the die adders that we've created, which is wild. So we have even more candidates for good locks. Right, let's see if I can find a lone key to bring in from somewhere. I think there's one in this bottom right corner. We will put that um, where are we going to put that? Put that on here. That gives us those two side pieces. And now we have another 46 rerolls because we spent so long trying to get that extra face. So now we can re-roll for locks at basically our heart's content. Right, 
I'm not going to take the six times triplicate in rerolls whilst we're looking for locks. Locking something good is far more important to me than having something on the periphery re-rolling in triplicate. Also, I now wonder how many dice have we now accrued? Because I feel like it's increased considerably. Do we have a die quantity multiplier? 699 dice. So I think my record is around 1600. But if we keep this up, we could well get past that by the time we finish this run. So something else to lock. I've lost where my kind of good center was. That's why I'd love to be able to like color code dice and things. Just locks. Locks is all I want. If we're re-rolling to find... If we're out of shop refreshes and we're re-rolling to buy stuff, I'll get the non-locks. But right now... Just more locks. Forever more locks. Right, I think that's our center. You there? Really am going cross eyed now. And then once this kind of dozen or so locks unlock, we'll have a whole host of candidates for stuff to move closer towards the center again. And so long as any of it is adjacent to even one key, I think most of this stuff is still going to be just fine getting unlocked before the end of the game. All right, now we can probably do some more moving in. But I'm not going to say no if you present me with another lock. taking their sweet time now. Right, show me a spare key. No, no spare unlocked keys. There's one. Grab that. not being seen by multiple keys. Now the grid is like completely screwed now. some of those prime candidates to unlock so that I can focus on relocking them rather than 
struggling to make idealized versions of everything else happen. I think I just put that on something that absolutely did not need it. Let's just roll for a while until some of these locks break. They're losing like eight to ten at a go. All right, now we can search for locks again. There you go. All right, so we're locking you, I think. going my brain cannot process this image anymore here and there this isn't so bad to see what's locked Looks like we're adding about three dice per roll on average. Time for some more locks. I think this is basically what I'm going to do for the remainder of this, because if I kept min-maxing every decision, my head will explode. So we'll roll for a while, watch some things break, collect some more locks, repeat. stuff up top, didn't we? Right, space up here for something. Why not? You're next to a key. So, sure, you get locked. Congratulations. Can we see somewhere we can count our dice now? There you go. We have 899 dice. Let's roll down to 500, see how we're doing. You can see the lag slowly starting to take in. So that was almost a hundred dice. All right, then we've got some good lock candidates. Once we actually find a lock. Probably another good candidate in here somewhere. Mm, 
those transitions take a good long while at this point. We have another of our prime candidates ready for a lock. I'm sorry the commentary isn't more engaging at this point, but after an hour of this, you can kind of, you guys know what's going on. You're all smart people. We're all just waiting to see if it's going to break at the end. this space now for any time that a lock breaks. There's one. I thought we were going to run out of rerolls then. Shop looks so tiny now, doesn't it? Right, so this was you? Yeah, you. And I think I saw another candidate for locking there. Excellent candidates. Taking its time even just zooming in. Right, 450 rolls remain. We now have... 1,133 dice. I do feel like you could spend like an entire Saturday morning just trying to get a really good arrangement like this, but then not doing what I've done and kind of skipped through 1,200 to 500 rolls, but try and maintain this garden of dice even more thoroughly than I have. Which might be a bit easier when the update comes that makes everything run a bit more smoothly. You might be able to do these huge colossal runs with a little more ease. at some point we get things like UI elements for how many dice were added in the last roll or how much value did that specific roll generate those would be good stats to have on the fly Hundred fifty seven die. And I need another lock. 
I've seen people suggest trying to do builds where the entire goal is to see how high you can get your reroll availability counter, which is an amusing goal. There must be something to lock around here. These guys that aren't as key adjacent really are taking considerably longer to unlock, which makes entire sense. I really just can't think that I'm going to spend all my time now dragging over every key that we have created from these edges towards the center. So right now at 400 dice, uh, 400 rolls rather, we have 1,280 dice. If we roll down 50 rolls, 1,280. That said, rolling down 50 rolls, even just doing that is a serious commitment of time. 1280 I said. Twelve eighty two. I can find a single face multiplier. Twelve eighty to fourteen sixty. That's what, 180 dice in 50 rolls? So if we did that seven times more, seven times 150, it's 300, 600, 900, 1,050 extra dice. That's if we weren't to keep locking, manipulating, and otherwise trying to build even more growth. But at the rate it takes to reroll for a lock, buy it, zoom in, find where you want to place it, and do so, it's going to take a small age. One more there that wants locking, I think. Although I've, I've really lost all orientation of what our key center area is at this point. Just lock all of it. Just put a lock on everything right now for the last 300 rolls, then double everything after the end. Let's roll down to 300.
Dare I try and put pips on? Can you imagine what that would look like? It'd make everything go even slower than it is. Right. 300 rolls. That is 1,662 dice. So I think I'm near a personal record. I don't think we're quite going to get to that kind of 4,000, 6,000 dice mark and watch the program start to have a fit. Right, let's go buy some more locks, I suppose. Where are you going? Oh look, we can see we've now covered over towards the shop and you can see the grid of all of our faces that we're currently rolling. So this die here is that net there. As for what's going on here, you get a lock. So it might be there start encroaching on the shop in a moment and that's going to make things really tricky oh i'm not sure what i locked but it got locked come on zoom in oh not that far Hold on, okay. All right, we're starting to hit some of the practical limits of my machine now. Let's try and get down to 250, and then I really need to go put in a thought about dinner with my partner, because... Boy, we've been here for an hour and a half. I've started associating the sound of a new dice being created with the roll, even though the sound of a dice being created is happening way more frequently than that of a roll. Can I see a face for how many dice we have? There's one. 1,879. And now you can see the nets of our dice starting to encroach in the shop. So it's going to get weird from here. Now, how hard is it going to be to navigate the shop with all this stuff encroaching? I'm hoping that, yeah, it doesn't say that it's like a numeric six or anything, because those are the nets. Although I can, I can click this one for some reason. But let's take another lock. Jeez. Okay. Scroll, 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 scroll. another scrolling's just getting more and more unresponsive At least the very tiny amount of delay when re-rolling the shop gives me just long enough to clock if there's been a lock that's passed. Now 
that can definitely get another copy. Then what else? You, obviously. Easy choice, that one. Right, I think I'm just going to roll down to 250 now. It's going to take us a sweet moment to do it. Can I see how many dice we have? 1880. I imagine we'll hit 2000 with this. trying to gauge roughly on average how many dice we're getting per dice roll. And then you watch it just zoom out just enough to accommodate one more row. Holding the space bar right now, that's all I'm doing. I wonder if, do you guys see the slightly thicker line breaks every now and again? Like just, just here, there's a slightly thicker line break, just there, there's a slightly thicker line break. If there's some pattern to the volume of dice and how big the sections are before you get one of those slightly wider spaces in between. Right, there's 200 rolls. That is now 2,135 dice. So we're growing pretty fast now. <laughs> and this just looks like a complete mess. Right, we're looking for locks. Surely some of our prime lock candidates are now very suitable for locking up again. It's going to be roughly in the middle, right? Right, so key, 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 lock that one. The slow pan back out. And the slow pan back in. If only there were a setting to bring me back to where I had left. Right. You look like a great candidate. And there's got to be one more in here. Come on, scroll. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Now, any locks that we put in now that aren't next to keys aren't going to be able to unlock with the 200 remaining rolls. So we do have to be pretty choosy now. I think I still see a few good candidates for places to put them. With 124 re-rolls, we'll certainly be able to find a lock. Go there, definitely wants locking. Right, let's go down to 150 then, shall we? There's another row coming in at the top. Okay. 
Can I find any of my times 100 dice quantity multipliers? It's not the times 100, but it is a dice quantity multiplier. 2,222 dice. Again, just holding down the space bar. This is the speed at what we get at the moment. You get what you get. This is what we get. I've stopped knowing words how to do. And now you can actually see the nets growing on the right-hand side as the left-hand side populates with more dice. Because the dice and the nets in the shop all kind of exist on this one giant plane of existence rather than being on different screens. So once we get across the top here, we'll see another line of them start growing up the left-hand side or the these left-hand side dice will start growing across here. But before we do that, time to go in try and add a couple more locks just to those prime candidates I guess what we could also be doing is if we see any of the 10 times all ones dice we could pick those up now this is a 500 times but if we put it a 500 roll rather 500 to unlock lock but if we put it next to plenty of keys should be fine and pick up 10 more dice of all ones there they are Because we do have some of this spare money to spend. A 300 lock. Once that scrolling comes back to us. It's going to be that guy there. There's 10 more dice. Just in case two and a half thousand wasn't enough you know an extra 10 is nice and you think that was the 10 we added compared to everything else that we have here All right, one or two more locks then we'll go down to a hundred get the zoom going eventually You are within four keys. That's all good. Just these transitions taking their sweet time. All right, something to lock. That'll do. All right, let's roll down to a hundred. So currently two thousand three hundred ninety-three dice. Two or three seconds per roll so 40 times two and a half is 100 seconds that's a minute and 40 seconds to do 40 rolls 50 rolls 40 rolls you can see those dice again populating up that right hand side you can imagine if we got enough they would cover this entire screen as well Up 
cast 2,500 dice. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling, just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What do we do? We roll, roll, roll. The slow descent into dice-based madness. Even as the dice populate at the top of the screen, you can see kind of the grayscale variant as they slowly take time to load in. Fourteen more. Come on, you can do it. No signs of any actual instabilities or crashing yet. Two thousand six hundred seventy dice. I think we should make three thousand. Lots of these locks not unlocked yet, although the two on the bottom have. So we could probably populate those with a few more three hundreds before we finish up. We find some 300 locks, which I'm sure we can, given how many rerolls we have. <laughs> if I can find the correct place to put them is a whole other matter. And if my scrolling will ever come back. That really likes to take its time. Right, it's this one here. And then it's neighbor two to the right. going to try and min-max it any more than that. Let's just keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? That's right, we've reached the 90s references portion of the episode. runs like this will look like with regards to how long they take after the stability update. Two thousand eight hundred twenty-two I think we'll make 3,000. I can't imagine what we could have gotten to if I had have min-maxed every newly created key and the die breeder adders. What this would look like at that point, I can't begin to imagine. Two thousand nine hundred twenty two dice. I wonder if the last of our locks will even unlock at this point. is going to be my longest roll video yet. There was one that came in two parts because that was one of my first 
much, much longer videos. I think that was my first big spender video. But this one is going to come in at a good hour 45. 3,010 dice. I barely even see the die faces changing anymore. All right, there's 50 rerolls left. We're just going to keep on rolling down now. We could buy more locks and keys and stuff, but even with the keys and locks that we have, they might not even get to pop at the end. And now you can see the shop at the right hand side of your screen. Underneath all those dice in the center, on that right hand side, you can see a copy of the shop under the net of the dice that we are now creating. Let's see about getting down to about 10 rolls left and then we'll do some slow rolls at the end just to see how many dice are being added per roll at this point because you have to think the most frequent die adder adds a die face every 50 rolls but if we're adding say 10 dice per roll that's 10 of those that are on their 50th roll which means there are 49 of them that aren't at that moment does that work, or have I just pulled that right out of my butt? Three rolls remaining. Let's see, how many are we up to now? I need to find... There we go. 3,244. So I don't think I'm going to be able to induce a crash with this run. But I can't imagine we'd be too far off it. Particularly if at right at this stage... We let that roll catch up with itself a second and go performance standard. Then try and hit a roll. You ready? Well, this is why we play without the pips. My goodness. That is taking its sweet time. All right, we're going to turn those off. remaining so we currently have 2,323 dice on one roll seven dice that time I think Two three th three three thirty. 
That's another 12, that roll. I've lost my die count face. 3355. Another eight there. And then just before we finish up, if we go back to the shop. We can again just see how wild things look over here, particularly this die face here. It doesn't really know what it wants to be. I think it's a seven. And if we go to apply that somewhere, you can see our net of... These are the nets. That's the shop just there. Those are our die faces. And if we go from the shop and go and look at the nets... It's just the same shot, isn't it? So let's get back to rolling. Those last three rolls. But of course, before that very last one, we'll try and get a final count. One roll remaining. Find me a counter. There we go. 3,395 plus an extra. Five. Is that 3,395, 3,400 in all? Something like that. And as it slowly fades away... going to get presented with our score? Is this stuff all going to stay on the side? There it goes. So that goes away. We get our score. One billion. But the score wasn't what we were here for. I hope that hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you enjoyed that video, please consider dropping a like below. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below as well. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.